<clears throat> You're 13. Can you just explain why that's uh, so significant to you? I feel like it's uh, everything in one. 13 is a number that I've that stood behind me and that's like meant a lot to me since high school, you know, since I fell in love with it. And from the outside looking in and people who say it's bad luck, for me it's been the total opposite. And so that kind of is what drives me to change the narrative of the number. So this year, for me, I think, pour out a little bit more, like give a little bit more on the court, off the court, just in life in general to, to people. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's a special, special year. Next world. seen James Harden and you know, he was playing pickup with us and like I was like dad like you could tell you the best player on the court. I mean James Harden was here he came for like a few days he played 505 one day he's my favorite player. That was my first time playing pickup since like we lost. It was crazy because you know he guarded me on some plays I guarded him so us guarding each other you know that was cool. I keep forgetting like I'm a little older, like I'm 32, and these guys are 20, so it was seven, eight years that I was getting drafted, you know, and just like, gotta keep that in the back of my mind. He was engaged the whole time, you know, he was talking the whole time, he was being a leader. You know, of course his team won, because, you know, he, he knows the ins and outs, you know, they out there calling plays and stuff. So, you know, just for me to like, see him in person, touch and feel, see how he looks at the game, to see how great of a passer he is, honestly. If James come, you know, just try to be ready all the time. Like, it might be like this much space and he'll still get it through there. So just be ready. The other day, somebody ain't finished or something. He's like, you gotta finish that, you know? Now, I don't wanna be on my head, so you gotta just finish it when he passes it to me. They get it, you know, they work hard, they come to practice, they got the right mindset, and it reminds me of um, when we were younger, you know, at that at that same point, we had you know those vests that we looked up to. So uh, they're in good hands. We got good vests that's that's showing them the way. Hard step back, book it a three. James, I'm not sure you saw it before the game, but you, you and Kevin got named to this top 75 greatest of all time list. Um, Ever? Yeah. Um, uh, you guys are a part of the first 25 that was unveiled. I'm wondering what's your uh, reaction to that? Uh, just coming from where I come from, man, just to even be in the NBA. And that was like a far-fetched dream to even be an NBA basketball player. It was like unheard of. And then, you know, making it here. And then not just making it, but sustaining. Uh, it was a different type of, type of mountain you got to climb. And then to be one of the best basketball players is a whole different mountain. So it's just testament to the work that I put in and I continue to put in until I can't play anymore. And obviously I haven't, you know, reached the ultimate goal, which is a championship, but that's what keeps me working and going hard every single day. Harden previously yeah. mentioned how hard it was for him to train this summer following that hamstring yeah. injury. That was his first major injury of his career. When he did come back last year in the playoffs, he re-injured it. He was not able to play basketball over the summer. He spent so much time just rehabilitating that, that hamstring injury. Yeah, I've always cherished the game of basketball and just being out there on the court in front of thousands of people. But, you know, now that that was taken away from me and it was like spurts, you know, and I couldn't be myself. I was a little frustrating, so I just sit back, I had time to think and, you know, assess things. It's really hard to play at the level he's accustomed to playing at when you play such little basketball. And this summer he did predominantly rehabbed. And so finding that rhythm, you know, finding that level of fitness, um, that, that burst and pop, uh, that confidence, that's not easy. It takes time and he'll get there. And we believe in him. And, uh, you know, that journey is something that we're all a part of. 
but it's also a reminder of how unforgiving the game can be. James Harden is one of the most accomplished players of this era, and he comes out and says, I'm trying to find my confidence. So that acknowledgement and humility that it takes work, it just doesn't happen by showing up on the court. This year, I feel like I need to come back and show, you know, I can, you know, I am one of them ones. I am one of them guys. Now it's hard, one on one with Optia. Step back three, money, and the foul. Watch out, that burst looks like it's starting to come back. We've tried to push him as he's started to feel more confident and comfortable to just attack, attack early, attack often, get to the paint. Two on one developing, Harden lob it up. Oh, Bruce Brown, get on. He was aggressive. Uh, he was being himself. Once he's being aggressive, uh, everything else takes care of itself. Game by game, I'm just feeling better. More confident, extra pep in my step. And the beard has got the vision. I just feel more uh, free. My body is allowing me to do things um, that it's, it's used to doing. You know, when he's at that level, he's just like, he, he makes us go. You know, we, we, we as a team can go to a different level, especially down the stretch. You know, when the game's tight, he's got the ball in his hands. Um, he's making the right decisions. It's a, it's a game changer for us. Another big possession. Hard from deep. Yes, indeed. When I've watched him from afar, I, I've just really admired the way he's, he's just handled kind of the burden of being the main guy. And now that he's with us, I don't think he has to feel that way anymore. Uh, day to day, he just knows you know, who's on his wings, who's down low, and we know where he wants the ball and where he likes it, and then just let him be him. Really proud of the effort and the, and the growth he's, he's made after a long summer of just rehabbing. So, you know, it's for me, I just want to stick to that task of trying to have fun, enjoy, attack, be aggressive, and continue to find his, his, his health, um, his rhythm, and his confidence. It feels much, much better. Just ultimate confidence, ultimate best player in the league type of vibe. James is one of the best teammates I've ever seen. You feel his presence immediately. The day he sets foot in here, there's a different noise level. There's a different atmosphere. What's the vibe? That's the vibe. Harden is just a tremendous leader. It's not something I know about until you see it on a daily basis. He totally understands the team dynamic, the unselfish nature of the game, and this is not about one or two people. He involves his teammates. I think people really love to play with him. He knows it just as well as they do that he's going to make them better, and uh, he has an uncanny skill to be able to do that. What James does for the bigs, he, he just makes their job a lot easier because he's taking two, three guys on the ball every single time, double teams, triple teams. You know, the other team's game plan is to get it out of James' hands. You know, when he's able to, to hit bigs on, on those rolls or hit bigs on those lobs, you know, they just enjoy it. The bigs create their energy. They start the play off, they create the play, and I finish the play. You saw what he did in Houston with Clint Capella. And, you know, my skill set, me being able to do a lot of different things out there, I think we just, we were able to just click. And with us being able to put some work in over the summer, you know, it's going to be scary hours. Lob to Claxton. Harden, Clax connection. Harden off the screen, the roll, and the slammer for Claxton. Perfect two-man game. His confidence is growing. And I tell them every, every single day, like, anybody can have one good game. What separates yourself is when you do it on a night in and a night out basis, consistency, uh, especially for a young guy. And once you can build that, you can be around this league for a very long time. So that's something that he's learning, but I feel like it's my job to make sure that he has that mindset every single game. Playing in LA is always great. Just for Christmas, man, it was, uh, you know, got, got to be around family and friends. So that was uh, very special. You know, I hadn't had that feeling in a minute. What's the vibe? Oh, yeah. James Harden has been cleared from COVID protocols. Duran and Irving now. Harden just coming back off a 15-day absence. Oh, what's up, baby? Merry Christmas. 
it's difficult. You know, before the COVID, I was getting into that rhythm and I was finding myself in, you know, we had one, one solid practice for 10 minutes or something like that, and then it was go time. Harden sees an opening, drives, layup, shot, oh, gets a little English on it to go down. Oh, James Harden is feeling it. L.A. agrees with him. Best you can, be, under, be in the paint. Help everywhere, everywhere. I definitely think the break benefited him, and, yeah. you know, he, he at L.A., so he at home, he been putting on the show. Harden, bottom for the beard. Shooting the ball with supreme confidence. Harden drives. Oh, knocks down the three and the foul. You know, from the jump, he's just been clinical. So, such a great head of the snake for us. And uh, he plays like that, it's very difficult to beat. Hey, that's nice. Everything, we never can test. James Harden is doing things that we just have not seen a whole lot in Nets franchise history. He is just a masterful point guard in terms of getting guys involved. Tremendous decision maker. James Harden knows exactly how to lead his teammates. I think it's a testament to his basketball IQ and understanding how the game is being played. Yeah, buddy. What's the vibe? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I think tonight was just one of those examples of him having fun out there and all of us having fun out there and kind of feeding off that energy. James Harden has got his group back. It's that acceleration. I mean, you see it, the explosiveness, how he's reading the defense. When you prepare yourself, man, to be great, like, good things will happen for my team. And with 45 seconds remaining, we're all even. Brooklyn with the ball, Mills and Harden. Alley up to Claxton, he throws it down! What a pass and what a finish and a chance for a three-point play. My job, my brother. Good job, bro. Merry Christmas. The beard has absolutely dominated in LA. I know you guys felt it was coming, but you see a different James these last few games. What are you seeing different with James? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <clears throat> just more confident and just everything you're doing, I mean, that's half the battle as the NBA players. But it looks great to me, man, you know? And I think it's only gonna get better from here. How are you? Good to see you. Good? Yeah, I want to thank everybody for coming today to uh, celebrate the Jersey retirement for James Harden. No player at our teacher will ever wear the number 13 again. Let's give a big round of applause for James Harden. High school is where I fell in love with the game of basketball. That was where I learned how to work hard, learn how to how to actually train, learn how to lock myself in the gym and, and find things that I can I can get better at in basketball. I ain't been nervous in a minute. Y'all make me nervous right now. So our TJ had a special place in my heart, man. So I just want to say thank you guys for coming. Um, you know, for, for the next generation, the young kids, man, you gotta, you gotta work, you gotta work, you gotta get your school work done, and then whatever you wanna be, not just an athlete, but whatever you wanna be in life, you gotta make sure you work at it every single day or it won't come true. When it's all said and done, my impact, my legacy, I wanna be able to leave something special for generations and generations. Appreciate it, so, yeah, one, one love. I know we look old, but we said we'd take y'all right now. Y'all wanna play? Y'all want to hoop against us, the old, old people? <laughs> Y'all got no chance. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Elias! Um, that whole entire weekend was just something special. I got to be around great company. We got two wins, Jersey retirement. Uh, just good vibes in LA. I feel like James' legacy is still being written and we're, we're helping write it. I think we should do our job to, to help uh, complete this process for him of uh, achieving the ultimate level of success in our league, and that's winning a championship. When I get to that point, you know, the work doesn't stop. You know, I continue to work and continue to strive and, and until I'm not able to play this game no more. But this game has given me so much, man. Just the people that I've, you know, interacted with and I've touched and the families that I've helped, it's just, uh, it's a beautiful thing. 
That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I feel like that's my purpose. To spread that love and let people know that are struggling that, hey, there are somebody out here that, that has your back and is willing to help. I uh, started as a young kid like you guys, uh, playing with your friends, uh, going to camps and academies like this. Uh, that's when you find passion and find, you know, your love for the game of basketball. So, you know, you guys have fun, man. This is, this is what about. That's like when I'm at my best, when I'm around kids and their excitement and their joy, they can feel my energy. Like that, it clicks. And I feel like uh, the more we can get them in that just happy place, you know, we've done our job. When he's able to reflect on his legacy, getting his jersey retired, I think that's a, a great stepping stone. But now it's, you know, back to work to uh, be with us. And, and now uh, we go after this thing. James has such a brilliant mind out there. You know pretty much who he is every time he steps out on that floor. And that's what I love about him. You know, he's gonna play with that passion every time he's out there. He's a, he's a true hooper. I train every single day with that mindset to be able to compete at the highest level and be, be the last team standing. For me, I just wanted to go out there and make my teammates better, try to be the best player on the floor every single night. And um, hopefully that's good enough. Hopefully that'll lead me to where, you know, obviously individually I want to go and, and our organization wants to be.